Hi everyone! So I am finally here to film my wax collection, storage, organization video. Um, I feel like I've been holding off making this video because I don't feel like my storage is 100% perfect to how I'd like to have it stored, but I don't think it's ever going to be perfect, so let me just go ahead and do the collection video. Um, let me preface, I definitely have a lot of wax, and my goal in 2023 is to significantly cut back on the wax buying. I have purchased from a few pre-orders, but not nearly as many purchases from RTSs and pre-orders as I have done in the past. So I feel like that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I feel like if anything, this is gonna be a great check-in for me. You know, it's the beginning of 2023, then I can kind of look back, you know, next year and see how my collection is going, if I've um, been able to make a dent in my collection, things like that. Ideally, what I'd love is to not have so many random bins of wax and to have everything just in storage like the drawers this little um plastic drawer set or a few of the drawers in my desk which we'll go through um the majority of my collection is stored in my little office but i do have a few bags of loaves that i store actually in our closet because there's just no room to store them in this closet or in this room so we'll go through that as well um yeah let's just start right um when you first look in my closet here let me back up again so you kind of notice the random bins of things that didn't fit in my alex nine drawer units and there's also scentsy wax warmers up at the top so i just store my Scentsy warmers up here. I have a couple other warmers, but I did declutter a few of my warmers and give them away to my friend um, just because I had so many. And nowadays I'm much preferring the light bulb warmers over element warmers. So I did kind of declutter a few of my element warmers. Um, and then I have light bulbs, tea light warmer, uh, tea light candles right there. Um, so yeah, like I said, ideally, I don't want all this stuff piled up on the floor. I'd love to just have everything in my collection stored in these two Alex drawers. We're just not there yet. Um, the Alex drawers are tilted sideways because that was just the most, um, that was just the best way to store them in this closet. Otherwise, it kind of like took up too much space because I had to store both right here in the middle. Otherwise, the drawers wouldn't open with how these closet doors fold. So it was a little weird to get used to, but I actually kind of like it now how they're stored sideways in my closet. Um, so yeah, let's just start on this side. In that bag is just, I don't know why, just some Sassy Girl Aroma loaves. I know the lighting isn't great in here, but I'm not gonna go through like item by item in my collection. I'm just gonna do an overview. And if you want any like item by item, collections from different vendors or anything like that i can definitely do that eventually if you guys would like um so yeah random bag of sassy girl aroma loaves which is not my whole collection of sassy girl aroma loaves tripod this tripod is the one that i use for when i do my face-to-face -face videos and then this tripod is the one that I use for chop and chats, sticker videos, things like that. I think I've mentioned before, but yeah, I just film on my iPhone. I think the quality is great and I enjoy filming on my iPhone. So that's just the camera that I use. Um, this bin down here, I feel like I shouldn't have... I clicked my screen and now I feel like it's just on like manual focus. Um, this basket right here is full of my Vintage Chic Sense collection. Um, let's see, should I move some of this stuff? Oh, okay. Let me move that to the side. Take this off. So yeah, this is my whole VCS collection right here. 
um, all the different shapes that I have. Um, I haven't purchased from VCS in a while. I've mentioned this a few times in videos. If you do love VCS, definitely try to order from any of her pre-orders or RTSs in 2023 because after this year, she will be closing. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to order anymore only because she will be closing soon. Um, I do tend to like VCS wax. It is on the harder side. I'm starting to move away a little bit from the vendors with really, really hard wax. I do kind of prefer the vendors with softer wax formula, but overall, I mean, she has some great bl blends. I'll definitely miss her when she retires her store. This is a very random bin. I have some swanky mystery grab bag chunks and kind of random little shapes in this bag. This bag is probably from a Rose Girls sampler at one point that I reused for storing some of my swanky items that did not fit in my swanky drawer that will go through in my Alex units. Um, and then the rest of this bin is just my Super Tarts collection, BAMs and half BAMs. My Super Tarts clams are in a different drawer that we'll go through later. So yeah, just this is where all my super tarts bams and half bams fit. Like I said, eventually I'd love to have things not in these bins and in my drawer units, but no, no room for that yet. But this is how I'm storing my super tarts. So let me put this back in here. This bin on the top is just for my empties one empty since I just filmed an empties video the other day. Um, I don't want to put anything too heavy just because the plastic units tend to warp if you put really heavy stuff on top or if you fill the drawers too full they can tend to warp a little bit so just for my empties bin up here. I just the other night organized this blue and purple plastic drawer bin because my mom actually brought this over when she was visiting us the other day um so i just filled this with all my candles from the keeping room bags it is completely full now so if i do purchase from any of her openings it's not going to fit in these drawers unless i pull things and melt them but i love candles from the keeping room another vendor that she will be retiring soon i don't exactly know her plan because i thought her intentions were to retire in at the end of 2022 but she still has oils left over and I think she's gonna pour until her oils are all used up so I think she's still gonna have openings in 2023 I know she's at least gonna have one more I'm assuming in February but I'm not not quite sure because as of now she hasn't released her next opening date but yeah this is how I store my candles from the keeping room bags um, these are my samples that I have left. I just put them in this little container right here. Um, but yeah, these are my bags. I tried to kind of organize them by scent category. So in here we have a lot of like decadent bakery and pumpkin pecan waffle kind of blends. Um, so pumpkin pecan waffle are down there and then just other sort of bakery scents. And then this drawer we have kind of random. Blueberry Bakery is at the bottom, like you can kind of see some blueberry. And then we have just kind of stuff that didn't really have a place that's non-bakery. So like Hawaiian hibiscus, Christmas time, cactus and sea salt, French lavender and honey. Just kind of random stuff that didn't fit in any other drawer. Plus Lemon Bakery is in this one. Like I said, all these are stuffed. And then in this drawer is all my strawberry bakery plus some extra kind of decadent just other bakery blends and then a couple um jam and jelly and like wild berry mousse blends in here as well so this bin is all my candles from the keeping room let's go on to this side and then i'm going to move all this stuff out so we can go through the drawers so i already said that these are my samples of carols this these bins over here are very, very random. It's basically the wax that I've started using, but haven't finished and I don't really want to just put back into my collection. It's a lot of chopped up loaves 
that are kind of in progress being used but not currently at this time um so these are all my chopped loaves that are kind of like minty blends a lot of l3 so lavender ice princess mint cookies from the pharmacist's daughter a few just like lavender random kind of laundry blend i don't know and then sweet dreams and then two good night moons from scoopable tart wax that are her half pies like i said just very random i didn't have any other place to put these so they ended up in this bin this bin again very random things i've chopped things i should chop a random bag i'm just trying to use of this um bag of blocks this bakery bag of southbound that's almost empty like just really random stuff that i want to grab from and melt through but i just it's not really in my current valentine's day melting basket so it's kind of right here for now and then underneath i have a lot of like rose girls mini melter bags that are in progress and then some sassy girl aroma brittles on this side that again i've kind of pulled that i want to use but i just am not using right now oh my gosh this is heavy oh my gosh okay and then this is a lot of chopped loaves at the top here we have unicorn berries i have two destination wax i think this one's quickie wedding this is like blueberry basket this is aunt's no um what is this one uh lighting the menorah the rest down here if you can kind of see it is all like strawberry bakery loaves that i've chopped up so that's why i kind of just like laid them all in this bin and again this bin is basically like going to be in progress loaves I just don't have them pulled for this current like melting basket that I'm doing in February. But I will be kind of pulling those next once my February melting basket has completed. Um, these are just some of my planner stickers. I don't know if you saw those are my planner sticker binders. Some washi tape, some washi over there. This bin is just a bin that I'm storing some pharmacist daughter mainly souffles i think it's double layered yes underneath there's even more souffles so oh you guys i have so much wax i really in doing this video too i'm really looking at all the wax i have and it's just making me solidify my idea of basically a very 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 low buy of 2023 i don't want to say no buy entirely but it's like do i need it absolutely then maybe i'll make an order but i'm definitely not doing any huge orders hopefully <laughs> we'll see if i stick to that let me know are you guys planning on doing a very low buy in 2023 as well because i just like my collection is just way too big and even in when we were moving i've decluttered a lot and downsized and what i mean what i mean by declutter is i make wax bags and give them to my friend <laughs> and she takes all the wax that i've kind of decluttered or when i chop loaves sometimes i'll make her like little bags of some of the loaf loaves that i've chopped up so yeah i'm not going to go too much in depth to this one but it's all pharmacist daughter so let me close this again let me pause the video i'm gonna move all this stuff out so we can go through the drawers all right so let's start with this alex drawer on the left of my closet um both of them are just completely filled with wax and we will go through drawer by drawer so the top drawer here is filled with l3 bunts two pack bunts i haven't chopped these i'll chop them when i feel like pulling them in to use them um it depends on my mood sometimes i'm just in a chopping mood and i'll just chop things because if they're not chopped i'm not going to reach for them at this point in time i'm going to leave these unchopped for now this drawer is random <laughs> okay this drawer has some scoopables and just randomly my two rose girls half pies from 2021 i think whenever the last um mario pre-order was that she did half pies so it wasn't this past year it was the last one before that i just haven't had the, the heart to chop into them yet but i think i will soon because they are definitely a year old 
more than a year old at this point because we already had the other Mario pre-order. So I should get into chopping these soon. And then this little thing is just filled with little spoonchillas that I've collected over the years from L3 that come in orders when you order scoopables. I've just collected them and put them in this little bag for now. Let's see if I can shut that. And then this is just kind of a random drawer of scoopables. Um, L3, Bodies Harmony, which Bodies Harmony is actually going to be closing, I believe, after this year as well. Some scoopable wax tart. Um, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to the scents I have in here. Just overstock scoopables because you'll see in a couple drawers down I have more scoopables and these ones just didn't fit. So, that that shut. Okay. The next drawer we have are L3 bougie bars and trig tarts. Do I have any trig tarts in here left? I think they might just all be bougie bars now. I think I must have used all my trig tarts. And then just very randomly, a few Rose Girls items from the Halloween sampler that I didn't really have a spot for. And there was a little bit room on the side. I love L3's bougie bars. I think they're really perfect to use. I'll use one, maybe two of these little cubes in a warmer. Um, this might be my favorite um, item or like shape to order from L3. Really like those. Some more L3. You guys, I have not purchased L3 definitely since at least October 2022. And I I've been tempted because she's done a couple sales since then, but I just have not caved and I'm just, anytime that I get close to feeling like, oh, I want to make an order, I just come look at my drawers because it's a lot and there's no place to store more wax. Um, cloud cakes, some of her chunks, and then just kind of seasonal little items like the pumpkins and yeah, these are jack-o'-lanterns, so just kind of some random little shapes right there. Here's the remainders of my scoopables. These happen to all be L3 scoopables. So yeah, eventually I would love to combine my scoopables drawers, but right now I just have too much. I'm still going to need two drawers. So love to downsize and have them all in just one. Now we're getting down to the deeper drawers. So on these nine drawer units, it's five little bit shallower drawers and then four slightly deeper drawers. Lots of L3 Bitty Bettys, so her smaller loaves, her smaller loaf tins, and a few Rose Girls mini melters that just didn't fit in the other drawers that I'm storing my Rose Girls in. Here's some more Rose Girls, a lot more mini melters, and then in this small little area, I couldn't fit any more bags of mini melters, so I just happened to put three L3 Bitty Bettys. I think I'm storing these somewhat alphabetical, but I don't know. I should go through because I'd like to store them. I don't know. What do you guys do? Clearly, I kind of like to store by vendor. But I go back and forth. Do I want to store like alphabetically? Do I want to store by like scent category? I don't know. I think right now it's literally just by vendor pretty much if I am able to besides like random spots that I fill with other vendors. Okay, let me bend down. Okay, these are again all Rose Girls mini melters and Rose Girls other random shapes. These are her like mini pies that she did last spring. Um, I think this was from a pre-order, the little mini pies. Um, so yeah, this drawer is all Rose Girls. I think this is, oh, did I squish this a little? I think this one's Rose Girls too. Yes, more Rose Girls, you guys. Clearly, I, you know, you can tell by how much wax I have from each vendor, which vendors I really love. I love Rose Girls. And then randomly, I guess, one Salt Mountain Melts souffle. So that was the first drawer unit. Now let's turn to the right side. 
This first one is my swanky. I didn't have enough room to store all that swanky. That's why it was in that kind of um, organza bag at the beginning that I shared. And this is the remainder of my swanky small items. Loaves are stored in a different spot. So roses, um, little scent shot samplers. This was one of her little chunk samplers. And she calls these round tins, but they're basically like souffles. This is my super tarts clams. Um, I think these I stored alphabetically, if I remember correctly. So I think it goes, yeah, so A, B, you know, alphabetically like this, this, this. So yeah, I like how these clamshells store. That's really nice. Um, Knowles Farm Scents. <laughs> I don't know why I was blanking. The label's just clearly right out there. So my little, um, wax snap bars and chunk bags what are these called i think chunk bags we have teddy bees these next couple drawers are going to be a lot of teddy bees souffles the reason they're upside down is because um the little zipper i feel like doesn't catch so much when i store them upside down in these drawers it slides a little bit smoother otherwise the top of the bag kind of get stuck on the top of this drawer so that's why they're upside down so far as we've gone through my collection I just want to point out to you I don't really double bag items like smaller items like souffles and things like that um the only thing that I've started double bagging is my loaves because I'm not really reaching for those yet um everything else I just don't tend to double bag unless the original bag has like a tear in it. These Teddy Bees souffles, I'm pretty sure I tried to organize alphabetically. Um, oh, another way you could organize is by like date, like when you've gotten it in, like oldest stuff you store together. So then you reach for that first. Like I said, mine is just kind of by vendor. Um, more souffles tubs the tubs fit in the deeper drawer not the shallower drawer tubs and sassy girl aroma so we're getting into some sassy girl aroma brittles i am loving my teddy bees but i have a lot so that's why i did that teddy bees chop and chat because i did make quite a big order um during her last pre-order so i want to make sure that i'm going through some of my current collection before i bring in some of the new stuff and yeah, the beautiful brittles. For some reason, I don't reach for my Sassy Girl Aroma brittles. Maybe because like they store so like satisfyingly. I'm like just content with keeping them here. I feel like I tend to reach for stuff that doesn't store so well. So I can kind of move it from my collection. I don't know. More Sassy Girl Aroma brittles in the back. Some extra tubs, souffles, and some of the bag of blocks. And then what is this just one little what does she call these mini pie uh mini chunk pie and then the last drawer down here is just all sassy girl aroma brittles bag of blocks and some of her mini chunk pies so that's my collection in this closet and no we are not done yet um on this side right here is just basically my current melting basket baskets this is my valentine's day collection that i've pretty much went through in that valentine's day like february mel melting basket um so that's everything in here plus a few things that i've grabbed like from the bathing garden so let me jump over here this is a very random bin this is kind of like those bins that I had stored in my closet at the beginning of the video where like, it's just so random. Like, I don't even know, I'm not even sure why I have some things in here. Like these could probably go in that drawer of my L3 bougie bars, but for some reason they're in this bin. I don't know, maybe I'll move them to that drawer. I'm not sure. I have one super tart little donuts that they had in a pre-order and i don't know i mean i guess i could maybe put this in my bam bag um basket like i don't know why some stuff is in here 
some pharmacist daughter, some destination wax. So just very random. A couple of my southbound wax cakes. I don't have much southbound le left in my collection at all. I've pretty much warmed through. Southbound, I think, is changing their ordering system or how they do like pr I don't think they're doing pre-orders anymore maybe that's what it is they're purely gonna be like ready to ship I believe um very random again this is just a little like rolly cart that you can get from like craft stores no wax on the top just some like letters and random stuff um these are my only scentsy bricks so I only have four although in my March scentsy club I'll probably get one more brick um, I loved this scent, Pink Poinsettia, so I stocked up. I think I had at one point four in my collection, so I just have two left. I really love it. Um, I didn't have a club when this came out last holiday. Yeah, because I think my first club was in, I believe, March, January or March. These were no longer able to club, but I love this scent. Um, so at least I have two more bricks of it still my brick of maraschino sugar cookie and my luna brick that i got from my most recent club um i don't even know i think these are practically all pharmacist daughter loaves and then two swanky loaves on the side there like i said i do double bag my loaves so these are all double bagged because i'm not sure when i'm gonna pull these in and start chopping them um so yeah just a very random bin of a few loaves this is just my desk so this is just the alex one two three four five five drawer i guess the shorter alex unit and the biggest tabletop so if you guys have watched any of my vlogs i used to have these two drawers and then i had a smaller um i think it was like the black brown tabletop but in our newer townhouse i had more room for a bigger desk so i swapped it out with the larger um desktop most of these drawers are like planner stuff and just normal like desk items, stationary items, pens, things like that. But I do have wax, I think. This one I have in the last three drawers and then my drawer on the other side, I have it in the last two drawers. This first one is L3 puppy packs and some bitty betties and some four pack fluted tarts. I just cut last night all my fluted tarts. I don't know why I was in a really chopping mood. So I felt like chopping some of these. I don't know why. Like I said, like with my bunts, when we went through the other storage unit, I wasn't going to chop those, but who knows if I'm in a chopping mood, maybe I'll just chop them up because like I said, I'm more willing to reach for the items if it's already chopped. So just some l3 stuff then these two are my scentsy scentsy plus a few better homes and gardens of vanilla and cookie crunch my favorite scent from better homes and gardens so these i kind of store by color sort of and then in this one is just some more scentsy so that's this drawer let's go over to the other drawer on this side i said we only have wax in the bottom two I have some Bathing Garden, some K's Broadway Wax in here, and some Fantasy Wax, Candles by Victoria, and a lot of Pharmacist Daughter. All this stuff is basically the Pharmacist Daughter items that didn't fit in that um, flat rate box. The flat rate box is basically all my souffles from the pharmacist daughter and then this is the other kind of like wax items and shapes that did not fit in that box so that was all my wax in this room here are my four bags full of loaves i am definitely not purchasing any loaves anytime soon i used to love loaves especially when i had so many warmers up at one time in our apartment but because I'm using so much less warmers at our townhouse, I just don't see myself going through a loaf of wax very quickly. So moving forward, I'm definitely not purchasing wax in the loaf size quantity. It's just too much. Some Sassy Girl Aroma, 
swanky loaves. Like I said, they're all double bagged. I put dates on them and they are layered. Like I have loaves underneath the top loaves. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through each bag. If you want me to do separate videos, I could definitely do like a specific like loaf collection video and take out all my loaves if you guys want. Some more swanky. Some, oh, my one Rose Girls Strawberry Cookie Land Chunky Loaf. A lot of L3. What's underneath? Um, that's L3 underneath. Anything under here? I think it's all L3 on the bottom layer. Um, one Salt Mountain Melts Loaf. I love this scent. Probably save it for next year. Um, a ton of L3. L3 I've collected a lot of because it's so easy to get your hands on. They do so many restocks, pre-orders, and it's definitely probably like the best price loaves that you can get your hands on. I think they're like $14 and change. A lot of other loaves are probably closer to like the $20 mark. So I just collected so much L3 loaves. I will say though, I do love L3. Um, I tend to get really good performance, not always longest of lasting scents, but while they're going, I get pretty good performance. And I do like the formula of L3's loaves. It's kind of in between. It's not the softest wax, but it's definitely not hard wax. Um, and then in this bag, a random Sassy Girl Aroma loaf. Maybe I should just reorganize these. Um, okay, another Salt Mountain Melt, some more L3, some Southbound Loaves, but that's pretty much the four loaf bags. I do not know when I'm going to get to chopping these because I'm fine with just keeping them stored in our closet. I think it's nice because they're mainly like in the dark. There's no windows in our closet, so I feel like it's a pretty decent place to store them. Um... So yeah, that's all my loaves. And that wraps up my collection video and storage. Let me know if you have any storage tips, if I should be storing them in a different way. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.